Hey folks, back with another video. This time it's a knife review on the Real Steel H5 Gerfalcon. Uh, it's a knife I picked up probably four or five months maybe. I've been carrying it and um, I love it. I carry it a lot. <clears throat> I had a spurt where I was carrying it probably for, for two months maybe straight. A uh, good work knife. It's it's what I like in a work knife. It's a, a full flat grind. Um, really nice stone wash. So it takes scratches and wear and tear pretty good. This has actually been used and sharpened a few times. Uh, speaking of sharpened a few times, it's a 14C28N Sandvik steel. So, <clears throat> not the top end, top shelf steel or anything, but it's a, uh, it gets the job done for sure. It'll last a, a week or two, and depending on what you're up to. Right now, you can probably see that the tip has gone a little bit. The tip gets the beating at work. It's the thing, it's doing all the work, so. Um, what else I really like about this, it has some, uh, put it down. It has on the liner side here. Here we have a, a G10 overstop travel, over travel stop. Sorry, a G10 thumb studs on both sides. Here we've got a deep carry pocket clip, nice size lanyard hole. That's a frame lock. That's uh, riding on ball bearings. Um, G10 side over here. The lock or the pocket clip, sorry, is reversible top or bottom. Um, or tip up or tip down, we should say. A little bit of jimping here that carries on up to the blade. Um, nice hourglass standoffs in there all the way around. Looks really cool. Uh, <clears throat> one thing to mention when I when I first got this knife, I didn't do an unboxing obviously, but uh, my first impression of it was I loved it. It flipped really good. It uh, fits the hand nicely. It's got a nice comfortable grip. The lock release is really nice and comfortable. Oh, <laughs> hit my stand. Flips great. It's got a nice detent to it. Um, the one thing I noticed was after I flipped it for a while, the blade center started to wander over to the scale side. To the G10 side. <clears throat> so I tightened down the pivot screw and noticed that the pivot screw was almost ready to fall out of it. This was after three or four hours. So I uh, tightened it up, watched it, and it walked again. So it kept skating and moving over. The pivot screw kept working itself loose. So I took it apart and I thread locked it and uh, Left it overnight, I wouldn't touch it for 24 hours, let the thread locker cure, and haven't had a hitch. It has not budged off of center ever since, so some assembly required, I guess, with the thread locker. <laughs> That's, it's really, I, I don't encounter that very much. I know a lot of people thread lock and, and swear by it and hate it and all this stuff, but I really don't encounter it very much with this knife. It was a mandatory. So, uh, <clears throat> but after I did, and once I took it apart, I saw the inside of it. The inside of this knife is as nice as the outside. To give you an idea of how good their build quality is. It's uh, made in China, but it's made to a high standard. I tell you, this is, uh, like I said, as nice inside as it is outside. Um, just for a size comparison, I guess the one everybody compares a knife to is the Spyderco Delica. Give you an idea. Uh, handle thicknesses are somewhat similar. 
So it's a big knife. I mean, it's bigger than a Delica. Here's a full-sized Griptilian. So there you go. Pretty much exactly the same size as a full-sized Griptilian, uh, but not nearly as thick, obviously, as a as my H2O Griptilian. <laughs> so, but yeah. Like I said, don't know what else to say about it. I carried it for a while and it served me well. Um, oh, the handle, I wanted to mention the handle. It's, it's texture is, I was thinking about it before I filmed this video, what does this texture remind me of? And I nailed it very much like a Rat 1. Maybe the Rat 1's a little smoother, but it's like a, it's like a G2, it's, a, it's like a, Spider Co. Uh, paramilitary too that you sanded down or something. It's, it's got that same pattern, but it's not nearly as deep. But there it is. Real Steel H5 Gerfalcon. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.